Hi everybody, welcome back Cars and Guitars. I got the damage pulled out of the front end of the 66 Jag E-Type. Still a bit more hammer and dolling to do here, but I wanna get all the Bondo and all the high build primer stuff off at first. I'm gonna paint strip the whole hood and especially the inside here. This was supposed to have been a full restoration like a year and a half ago. You can see it obviously wasn't, see all the rust and all the panels here I took out. There were all the bolts were seized and were breaking coming out. So nothing was apart, so it obviously wasn't a full restoration. It was just a cosmetic body job, basically. Everybody always says that. They get a car in, somebody walls a few patches here and there, puts a new door skin or quarter panel on, and they think it's a full restoration. That's a full restoration there. When a car has been stripped right down, every nut and bolt gets redone. Frame, interior, motor, everything, that's a restoration but not this, obviously. And I gotta strip the inside of the hood. When they did the body on it last time, they finished off all the inside of the hood, did all the body work, primed and painted it, and then when they flipped it over to the other side, they were hammering and banging on the top of it. You can see all the dents in it there, and the lights shining on all those dents. And then they cracked all the paint they just left it. You can see there's cracks all over the place where they were hammering on the, the top to do the body work, getting it smoothed out. So we got to paint strip all this and all the parts, get this all in epoxy primer, uh, do a bit of filler work on the inside here and some hammer and a dolly in and get all that painted, get it back together, fit it on the car, make sure it uh, fits properly. And then we can sand and paint the rest of the car here. The paint saw uh, was peeling off, so we stripped it off with a razor blade. Most of it came off. And the primer underneath was a bit soft. It's been hardening up, so they either put a bunch of coats on, let it then didn't let it dry in between coats. And it uh, was a bit soft, so you could smell the paint when you were stripping it off. So hopefully that sets up enough for us to uh, sand fix a few little imperfections on it and get it painted. So that's a quick update on the 66 Jag. That's it for now. Thanks for watching Cars and Guitars. I'm John Bluen.